One major complaint from Android users and iOS users alike is the fact that one of the most convenient features available on iOS, which is AirDrop, has no equivalent on Android. Well, that may just be about to change. Now, I don't know if you've seen my previous video about AirDrop on Android, where I talked about some AirDrop-like applications or AirDrop-like features on Android. And if you haven't, please make sure to check out the iCard above to see that video. So in that video, I talked about two different applications and how they are similar to AirDrop but they're just not as seamless as AirDrop is. Well, something new came up, and I think this is what we've been waiting for. Hey there, tech heads. Welcome back to the channel. And first things first, I apologize for the quality of the lighting because the sun disappeared. Like, I don't know. I, uh, it's, I don't know. The sun disappeared. So, yeah, just bear with me. So yeah, um, in today's video, like I said earlier, we're going to be talking about the Android version of AirDrop, which is nearby share. Now, this is something that has been gradually rolling out to different Android devices over the past couple of weeks. And I was able to notice when it came out and that's why we have this video. So um, yeah, without further ado, let me just show you how this feature works. Setting up nearby share is not difficult at all. Just go to your notification shade and choose the icon from there. And if you can't find it, just go to your button order and pick the icon from there. And you're presented with this um, menu where you can choose an account. I'm using my default account to send things here. You can also choose who you're visible to. And once you're satisfied, turn on on both devices. Now for this to work, you need to make sure your Bluetooth location and Wi-Fi are all turned on. Now with all that done, let's look for the file that we want to send. So here I've got this um, video file I want to send to the other device. I click on the share button and choose nearby share. It begins to scan for devices. I get a notification on the second device and the name of the device pops up on the sender's device. Now they all pair, everything's connected. You click on receive and in a matter of seconds, your file is transferred. It's easy as that. It's quite seamless. It's very reminiscent of AirDrop. And as you can see, the video is playing properly on the second phone. So the whole file sends completely in a matter of seconds. Now let's say I want to do the reverse and I want to send this file back from the second phone to my primary phone. I just do the same thing I did before. Click on the share button, look for the nearby share icon, click on that, and it starts scanning for nearby devices. I get a notification on my device, which is visible to all devices, and I see it on the sender's device. Now, once I click on that and click on receive, the file begins to transfer back to my device. And as you can see, it is also very quick. I can open the video here, and it begins to play. So you can see that everything happens very smoothly with very few clicks between each device. And you can see these devices are not the same. I have one Samsung and one Honor device, so you don't need both brands to be the same for this to work, which is really cool, actually. Yeah, so that's it for nearby share. As you can see, it's very, very similar to AirDrop. The disparity in speed is practically none or minimum, and it's very, very seamless to use. So I'm very grateful. Um, I'm very glad we have this feature. And uh, yeah, I really hope they keep improving it and it becomes more used moving forward. If you guys enjoyed this video, please, please, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And it would also mean a lot to me if you could subscribe. We're on the road to 500 subscribers and it would mean so much if we could get there quickly. Um, also, please make sure to check out our podcast. Um, the name is Tech News Nerds. It's available on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts and YouTube. Google Podcasts is coming soon. All the links will be in the description below. Um, also, all the links to the things I used to make my videos will also be in the description and also a special link in case you would like to drop something special for me. <laughs> and yeah, with all that said, stay cool, stay safe, wear your mask, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.